St. Gianna Oratory presents Daily Thought of St. Francis de Sales for September 16th. Uneasiness arises from our inordinate desire to be freed of some evil or from the suffering we are undergoing, or it results from the desire for some benefit we want to eagerly. In either case, anxiety only aggravates the situation. So when you are seized by some desire to be freed from an evil or to acquire something you think is good, in the very first place, put yourself in a calm and tranquil mood. Tone down your judgment and your will, and then with gentleness quietly await the outcome of your desires. From the Life of St. Francis de Sales Early in the morning on September 16, 1594, Francis de Sales and his cousin left the fortress of Elange and made their first visit on foot to Tonan, which was about four miles away. Having arrived there, they presented themselves to the financial administrator, Claude Marini, a good Catholic, on whose prudence and virtue they could depend. He informed them that at Tonan there were seven Catholic families, numbering in all about fifteen people. Fear of the Protestants prevented them from declaring their faith publicly, so Francis was determined to visit them as soon as possible. When they were brought together, he told them that he had come on behalf of the bishop to be their pastor, and that, that he would do everything he could to fulfill their obligations. At the same time, he reminded them of the duty imposed on them by the gospel of not being ashamed of their faith, because they would not be recognized by Jesus Christ as his disciples before his heavenly Father if they had failed to recognize him as their Lord and Master before people. So he urged them to come together in the future in the church of St. Hippolytus, where the Catholic priests had the right to instruct them in the truths of their faith. His first discourse made such an impression on this small group that they overcame their human respect and approached him without hesitation. The missionaries then paid a visit to the mayors of the city and toward evening returned to the fortress to spend the night in safety.